It's a very big day today, and if you clicked on the video, you know why. Because it's opening weekend of Festival of the Arts. We are here to eat, drink, and have a good time, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so right at the entrance after the checkpoint, they have a similar setup as they did last year, but everything is uh, dated for 2023. You have the tube of paint that spills out, the color of flowers to mimic the paint, which I think is actually pretty cool and creative. So props to Disney. So earlier today, we were at Magic Kingdom. We parked up, took the monorail over, and we're gonna meet her cousin. Shout out Carolyn and Ben. I don't know what Carrie's doing. You off the train of thought? <laughs> off to a good start. We're off to a good start. But uh, we were on opening day after work for a few hours because uh, if you knew around here, we are Walt Disney World locals. Uh, we got a figment popcorn bucket. Oh. And uh, I took some video of that, so I'll, I'll insert that right now. So we wound up getting Figment at uh, Figment Imagination Station at the Odyssey last night. Uh, we mobile ordered it. And Olivia has something that she wants to tell you guys. What is it? The popcorn is inside. The popcorn what is kind inside. Of popcorn is in there? So you gotta, you gotta push down on his, on his snow. Oh, that's And the popcorn cool. comes out. All right, onward we go. We'll be trying food boots, snacks, drinks, desserts, you name it. It's on the table for today. Carrie's scoping out what uh, food booth she wants to look at. But uh, first things first, I think we're gonna head over to the creation shop and uh, get a good look at what kind of Festival of the Arts merch that they have. So walking in, they have a lot of the uh, 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company merchandise. That will be a separate vlog. We're trying to find the uh, Festival of the Arts merchandise. So right when you walk in one of the side entrances, they have uh, Festival of the Arts merchandise, one of their spirit jerseys for this year. And then they have a couple of mugs and uh, tumblers as well. Create your magic. Nope, create your own magic. Pretty neat. They also have uh, some limited edition magic bands if you are if you are collecting those. $34.99. And they also have limited edition pins. They do have a couple different ones it looks like. And if you are an annual pass holder, they do have uh, pass holder merch. First impressions is there's not that many, not that much merchandise. I feel like Walt Disney World has a lot of uh, celebrations going on. They got the 50th merch, Epcot 40th merch, they got the 100 year anniversary merch, they got the new Festival of the Arts merch. So it's like all this fighting for the same space. So I feel like there's not a lot here at the creation shop. Before we go, I forgot to mention that the spirit jerseys are $79.99, which is pretty typical. All right, creation shop was good. Now we're gonna head on into the World Showcase. But first, have to look at the decorations on this side. Did you see Figment? Oh, just like the main entrance, they have a similar uh, theming over here with the paint spilling out. Over by the World Showcase, they have a display right behind me. One of my favorites, chalk art, which we'll show you guys that here in a second. And then they have more displays. And then right at the end, right at the entrance of the World Showcase, um, they will have a couple of boots. They also have um, photo op opportunities that kind of recreate famous paintings. You have a Vincent Van Gogh, one right here. So look at some of the artists doing their chalk art. Like I said before, this is definitely one of my favorite things that they have here for Festival of the Arts. This thing is just so detailed, and look at this mini one. Colors are so vibrant. And then they have another section of chalk art further down a little bit, and these do change throughout the, the festival, so if you come back, you know, a couple times, you might see different chalk art throughout. All right. 
right, the festival map. So we are right here pretty much. So they have uh, food studios and artists and merchandise uh, kind of called out. So a lot more of merchandise because it is Festival of the Arts after all. They don't have as many food, food booths as uh, food and wine obviously. And they are spread out throughout uh, the World Showcase mostly as well as the merchandise booths because there's a lot and we will definitely be looking at some of the merchandise areas as well. Olivia's just having the time of her life. All right, so a little trivia time. When did the first Festival of the Arts start? Was it one? 2008 to 2017. Give you guys a couple seconds and then I'll uh, reveal the answer. If you guessed 2017, you were correct. Good job. I think the game plan right now is to just kind of look at some of the merchandise boots. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but these are actually pretty cool. So we stopped at Disney Gallery Artists in between France and Morocco, and there's one painting in particular that's uh, caught our eye. Amelia saw the Moana, but that's not what, uh, what stopped us. What stopped us was that. Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh. So if you're not too familiar with Festival of the Arts, a lot of really talented artists and Disney enthusiasts come here to get a lot of their, their artwork for, for their collections because things here pretty sell out pretty quickly. So I'm kind of not focusing more on the prices, but they do range from anywhere in like the low hundreds. Some of them are even thousands. So I'm kind of more focusing on the art versus what the art costs. Just giving you a heads up as we kind of progress through, through the video and through the vlog. So around the corner, they have another Disney Gallery Artist booth. Another thing that you can do here for Festival of the Arts is the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. Go ahead and pause this so you can kind of read on it, but essentially if you visit a bunch of booths and you buy five of their menu items here, you can kind of turn in your uh, passport and then you can um, get, a, get a, a surprise. We pass by Thomas Kincaid booth and we have to stop. Fun fact, we actually own one time as Kincaid, Cinderella's Castle. Go figure. Really like this one on Main Street. Olivia's looking at the princesses. They, it's nice that they do have uh, smaller canvases, 8, eight by 10 size. Who do you see? We got Mickey and Minnie in Hawaii. We love Thomas Kincaid. Are we getting one? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Not right now, not right now. We love it all. All right, we are hitting the refresh button. Had a couple of uh, non-Festival of the Arts snacks just to keep the girls kind of uh, going and ourselves. I'm getting hungry again for uh, some Festival of the Arts food boots. Okay. All right, first one on the menu, deconstruct deconstructed dish. I'm gonna get the key lime pie. They had this last year, so we're gonna try it now. Let's go. This food booth is pretty much right at the port of entry, so it's right at the entrance of World Showcase. Also, if you didn't know, they get they give you a receipt and there's a cast member right before you get your product and they uh, they rip it to make sure that you can't keep coming back and claiming the same thing. We have it, our deconstructed key lime pie. Very artistic. Huh? Huh? What do you think, Art? <laughs> mm 
good? It's pretty good. It's different, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry if this video is shaky. I'm super cold. <laughs> hmm? All right, first one done. That was pretty good. I must say. I will say so far that was kind of oddly satisfying. That's kind of like my, my best description. I would give that like a eight, eight and a half out of 10. That's pretty good, I liked it. So the next, there's a um, merchandise tent or booth right by the deconstructed uh, booth that we just had our key lime pie. I'm gonna take a look in there and somebody walking by just said, this guy, Rob Kaz, sells out of his stuff very quickly. So just from looking at it from, from the outside, it looks pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always putting Carrie on the spot. I really like that Beauty and the Beast one. That's pretty cool. They even have some of the smaller prints. That's a cool one. Fantasmic. I also really like this Epcot one. And I love the simplicity of this Mickey and Minnie with all four uh, theme parks of Walt Disney World. Next one, I think we're going stopping at El Artista. Going to get the carne asada, I believe, $10. A couple other things on there look pretty good, but we'll definitely be back and I can try that at a different time. While I'm waiting in line to throw, do my order, look at how good Epcot looks right now. All right, the carne asada came. First thoughts, kind of small for $10, but let's see how it tastes. And if you can imagine, just like that, it's already gone. However, I will say the meat was pretty good. Carrie? <laughs> <laughs> this is just a thing. It was great, but $10 worth two bites, and if you know us, we just devoured yeah. meat in a second, so yeah. it was literally... That's my only complaint. Gone. The food was good. It was really good, but gone in two seconds, and it was... $10, so I probably won't come back here again for that, but it was good. All right, we're here at the Painted Panda. Both of the menu items here have pictures. They both look good. So the general sow and the pork bun. I'm not even gonna attempt to butcher anything today. I'm gonna get those, those look good. Also, it's starting to get cold outside, so. Putting the hood up. You guys already know, best table at Epcot, a trash can. Let's dig in, these look pretty good. The General Styles chicken is really good. As of right now, I give that like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. Now I'm gonna try the uh, the pork, this looks pretty good too. But all right, I didn't get that much footage of that, but I, both of those were pretty good. I'd say the General Styles chicken was just a little bit better than the pork. The pork had a, was a little fatty, but uh, nonetheless, they're both good. I haven't had one bad thing. So, so far, Festival of the Arts, you're doing good. Carrie and the girls went inside the gift shop for Frozen uh, to catch some warmth. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and meet them back over there. And I found them. Hi, Amelia. All right, surprise, we come out of uh, the Norway gift shop and now it's dark. But uh, Epcot at night, it's a vibe. I'm here for it. On the agenda right now, we're gonna head over to American Pavilion. The uh, the Broadway shows are starting, so maybe we'll, we'll try to catch some of that standing by. Made it to the America Pavilion, and right outside of Regal Eagle, they have a little uh, Regal Eagle Smokehouse cocktails. You can get beer, cider, wine. I'm going to get the number one selling drink in all of Epcot. And the last time that I did get this, I confirmed with the cast member, and it actually is the number one selling drink here in Epcot. It is the Moonshine Sour under specialty cocktails. It's the bottom right corner in that category. It's um. A blackberry moonshine, blood orange, blackberry, and lemon. It's hard to taste the, the, the liquor, which makes this drink very, very dangerous. But it is so, so good. We got Amelia, Olivia, Carrie, all eating little snacks. 
It's Amelia and George Washington. <laughs> Hi, Amelia. <laughs> but yes, as you just saw, they have Washington crossing the Delaware as a cool photo op. You kind of get closer and you see the effect. Let's go see what this Broadway show is all about, shall we? of taking us to that familiar land of Agrippine. So if, if you didn't know, every festival that they have here at Epcot, they always do some type of show. Last one for the Festival of the Holidays, they did uh, the kind of like processional. For Festival of the Arts, they do Disney on Broadway. And today there are three shows, 5.30, 6, 45, and 8. You have uh, Ariel Jacobs and Adam Jacobs. Both are from the Broadway versions of Aladdin. As the uh, festival progresses, they it changes who is performing, and uh, so it's always something different, even if you come to a lot, like us. Let's go watch some fireworks. Fireworks were great. Love Harmonious. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do when Harmonious goes away. I forgot a car was parked in Magic Kingdom, so I gotta take the monorail back to Magic Kingdom to drive back home. But you know, yeah. it is what it is. It is what it is. So that'll do it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a very small sample size of what Festival of the Arts has to offer. We'll definitely be back. Uh, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this video and give us a thumbs up.